guys and welcome back to another episode of time travel now today we're going to be taking a look at Microsoft Plus for Windows 95 and if you're not familiar with what Microsoft Plus is it is basically a series of operating system enhancement packages uh, from Microsoft that were sold uh, alongside uh, their operating systems now they had uh, versions of Microsoft Plus for Windows 95, Windows 98, and I believe Windows XP uh, as well also had one. And then uh, they also had versions uh, like for kids and you know things like that. So in this video we're going to be taking a look at Microsoft Plus for Windows 95, which was released alongside Windows 95, uh, and it introduced a few new features that you couldn't get uh, with Windows 95 when it was released. So uh, let's just get started uh, with the installation process. So I have uh, the Microsoft Plus ISO file mounted in here uh, into this Windows 95 virtual machine. So we're just going to click on here. And you can see that we uh, do have sound working in this virtual machine. We do have, uh, because whenever you uh, launch Microsoft Plus, it will play uh, the Windows 95 uh, startup sound and here we are at uh, the sort of I, I guess you could say like uh, auto run feature uh, for Microsoft Plus it just uh, brings up this uh, little menu here with some few options you can uh, install plus uh, a multimedia catalog or you can browse this CD so we're just going to, we're just going to click on install plus uh, on the uh, top option and, and you can see it says install or upgrade Microsoft Plus on this computer so when we do that, it brings up a pretty standard looking uh, installation program. So we're just going to click on uh, the continue button down here. We're going to, to put in our name, which it just already puts in for me, I, I guess, because it uh, you know, gets it from uh, the Windows registry. So we'll just uh, click on OK and then OK once again. And now you have to type in uh, our Microsoft Plus CD key. So let me just do that right here. All right, so we're just going to click on OK and we're going to click on OK once again and it's going to search for installed components uh, I'm guessing uh, on the CD and it's going to uh, ask us where we want to install uh, Microsoft Plus we're just going to leave it in the default directory which is C program files plus we'll uh, you know, click on OK it's going to uh, continue to search for installed components we have some weird thing going on uh, with uh, the uh, cursor here, I guess it's just something uh, with the uh, virtualization. Alright, so now we have two options. We have typical or custom. Now, I'm sure if you've ever uh, installed Windows 95 or Windows 98, I believe you, you will have uh, some similar options like this. So, we're just going to uh, uh, click on custom so I can actually show you uh, what features uh, that plus will add to Windows 95. So, we have a, a, a few options here. Uh, one of them is Drive Space 3, which is basically a disk compression utility, which will, as you can see over here, it will uh, provide enhanced disk compression, including the uh, compression agent for creating more hard disk space. We also have the uh, system agent, which will run system maintenance tasks and other program at a scheduled time or when your system is idle. And this is very similar to the scheduled tasks feature which I believe is in modern versions of Windows today. We also have the Internet Jumpstart Kit which as the name suggests just you know uh, provides a quick and easy access to the Microsoft Network, the Internet and Internet Mail. We have uh, the desktop themes which probably was one of the you know uh, biggest features of Microsoft Plus because uh, it you know allowed you to change the way that uh, Windows 95 looked and you could add different screen savers and desktop backgrounds and mouse pointers and all this kind of stuff it was really cool uh, we also have uh, dial-up networking server which as the name suggests you can uh, configure your server so you can dial up into it from another location we also have uh, 3D pinball which is actually a version uh, of the Space Cadet Pinball which I believe was included uh, with Windows XP by default and Visual Enhancements which says that it, it will unleash the power of high-end systems to make Windows 95 look even better. Uh, so we're just going to uh, click on continue here, we're just going uh, to install all of these. 
So we'll just, uh, you know, click on continue. And it says that uh, Drive Space 3 will not be installed because there's already a uh, newer version present. And the reason for that is, is because Drive Space 3 and Internet Explorer 3 were bundled with Windows 95 OEM Service Release 2, which is the one that I am running here in this virtual machine. It's the only one that, that I could actually get uh, to work uh, with sound uh, and uh, to run at this, you know, 1920 by 1080 resolution. Uh, so we're just going to I click on OK. It's probably going to say the same thing about uh, the Internet Explorer version. So now it's asking us about the system maintenance tasks features. It says system agent comes pre-configured to run system maintenance tasks while you are not using your computer. Would you like to run these tasks at night? So we'll just uh, click yes because I'm sure that that's what most people will do if you you know leave on uh, your machine while you're not using it. That's basically what this program is for. So we'll just uh, click a yes. And we have that weird thing going on with, uh, with the cursor again. And now it is checking for necessary disk space. And it is uh, installing everything from the Plus CD-ROM. Alright, so now it's saying that uh, Plus Setup needs to install some Windows 95 components. And it's asking me to insert uh, the Windows 95 CD-ROM. So, it, so it's probably going to ask me to do that Yeah, right here. I believe that I have those files copied over to the C drive, so I can just change that over here. Yeah, I do. This is I can just change it to C Windows 95, or yeah, it's gonna just copy everything because I could not get uh, those files uh, to work properly without copying them over to, to the C drive. Um, but anyway, so now it's gonna ask us to set up a desktop theme, and setup will now open the desktop themes window and to choose a desktop theme click the theme you want in the theme list which is you know pretty uh, sounds pretty simple so here we are in the uh, desktop themes window here so we're just going to change our theme uh, from the uh, current Windows settings and we have a lot of themes here that uh, came with Windows 95 um, I'm going to apply let's see which one I actually like the inside your computer. This is the one that I actually used uh, on this version. Uh, I think that I actually had Windows 98 Plus, and I used uh, this inside your computer theme because I just you know thought it was pretty cool. You can also change uh, your like all these options down here uh, with your you know settings and all this kind of stuff. You have uh, options. Uh, for your screensaver, sound effects, mouse pointers, desktop wallpapers, icons, colors, font names and styles and font and window sizes. And you can, you know, uncheck these options if you don't want them. So let's say that you don't want uh, this, you know, big desktop wallpaper. You can just uncheck that and it just goes away. Uh, but I'm just going to just, you know, leave it all there and we'll just click apply. And then it's probably going to ask us uh, to restart our computer, or maybe not, because we have, uh, yeah, all right, so, so maybe not. So we'll just uh, click on OK. And now it's going to ask us uh, to restart Windows, so we'll just do that. And another thing uh, that Microsoft Plus does is it changes the Windows boot screen. So you're going to see here that it says Microsoft Windows 95, Microsoft Plus at the bottom there. So. It just uh, adds that, I guess, to you know, like let you know that you're running Microsoft Plus. All right, so here we are at uh, the login screen. We'll just, you know, log in, and for some reason the sounds are not really working properly. I got them to work um, with uh, the Windows 95 startup sound before, but I might have to change those again. So let's see if, let's see if I go into settings here. Let's go into control panel, sounds. So, uh, Windows cannot play C program plus themes. Yeah, see, this is what I can't figure out. It's a, it says that the, the file the file may be damaged or unrecognized compression format. Okay, so we have to install audio compression. So let me just go do that right now. So we have to use add add remove programs to install audio compression. So let me let me go do that. All right, so I have installed the audio compression portion uh, of Windows 95, so we should now be able to actually hear uh, these sounds. So, yeah, you can see here we can actually hear those now. Um, so that's going to allow us to, you know, use these themes because these themes came with a lot of sounds, and it kind of, you know, added a whole new feel 
uh, to the system because as you know Windows 95 came with uh, a few sounds and you couldn't I mean you could change them but they didn't really give you like many other options to change those sounds to but uh, with these themes here you can change it to uh, a wide variety of sounds. Alright so now I'm just going to uh, get out of this uh, little sound panel here and I'm going to open up uh, the themes properties which is now an option in the Windows control panel as you can see here we have this new option called desktop themes which is you know pretty self self explanatory you just open it up and you get your uh, desktop themes changer uh, that we saw earlier in the video when uh, it, it asked us to change our theme for the first time alright so these are all the themes that are included with Windows 95 plus I'm not really going to go through all of them uh, because that would kind of take you know a little bit too long, but I will show you uh, what screen savers that each theme comes with, and we can do that uh, by accessing the uh, display portion of the Windows Control Panel. And if we go in here, you're also going to notice that it has created a new uh, plus tab, and this basically allows you to, ch to change icons for my computer, the network neighborhood, and the recycle bin, both full and empty. So, if you didn't like uh, the default icons that came with, uh, let's say, this theme that, that you're using right now, you can just change them right here uh, to, let's say, you want to go back into the uh, themes directory. And I, I guess you have to actually, you know, point to a, you know, icon. But still, you can change your icon from here. You can also uh, use large icons if you want, which I guess you couldn't do before. And you know, now the icons are uh, a little bit larger. You can uh, show window contents while dragging. Which, if we disable that, uh, you see, it doesn't. I mean, this is. I think this is how actually Windows 95 is by default. Uh, but if you show window contents while dragging, you can actually drag the entire window like this, which is a part of those uh, visual enhancements uh, that Microsoft Plus included. We also have uh, smooth edges of the screen fonts, and if we disable that, you're probably not going to really notice that much of a difference because we don't really have that you know much text up on the screen. But let's say I want to open, uh, for example, Notepad here. Now we'll just type out a quick little text document here. We'll say hello, and uh, now we will apply that. And let's see if it changes at all. Yeah, see, you're not really going to notice uh, that much of a difference. Uh, but we also have uh, show icons using all possible colors. So if we disable this, you'll see it says, "In order for this to take effect, you must restart Windows." I'm actually not going to do that because. Is, you know, gonna have to restart. Then we're gonna have to restart again to, you know, in, like enable this. But uh, this is again part of those uh, visual enhancements. Right? It allows you to use uh, all possible colors in your desktop icons. And we also have this new option to stretch the desktop wallpaper to fit the screen. And again, we're probably not really gonna notice that now because we're running this uh, virtual machine out of pretty high resolution especially uh, for 1995 you know I mean in terms of 1995 people didn't really have access to 1080p monitors so you're probably not really going to notice much of a difference there either but uh, that was another new feature that Microsoft Plus included and you're also probably going to notice that all these things you can do in modern Windows today without Microsoft Plus and Part of that is because Microsoft Plus doesn't exist anymore, and I guess one of the other reasons is because Microsoft wanted to bring all these features just over into Windows by default and not have to charge you for it, and just to, you know, I guess satisfy uh, more users. But, you know, let's just get on uh, with uh, the new screensavers uh, that the themes have added. So, uh, the first one is the inside your your computer theme and if we preview this it's just a pretty cool a little screen saver that you know shows you what the inside of your computer is like you have like uh, all these uh, you know computer parts flying around the screen uh, with this you know circuit board looking thing in the background which again you can't really see like over towards the right it kinda just goes into you know like a, a black screen because uh, I guess the circuit board image isn't that large and it can't run on a, on a 1080p monitor so 
uh, but still, you know, it, it still looks pretty cool. Uh, we got some uh, nice visual effects going on here, and it does play a lot of sounds, and I'm sure you can turn those off if you get annoyed by them. But yeah, that's uh, the inside of your computer screensaver. All right, so we can go down here to Leonardo da Vinci, and we can uh, click on Preview, and we can preview this this uh, pretty interesting looking screensaver. It looks like it's going pretty slow, but I don't know. We'll just wait for it to catch up here. I guess it's just going to be these, yeah, yeah, you know, stuff like that, stuff associated with Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, but yeah, I think we can change, can we change like the speed of that? Uh, no we can't. Alright, so we'll change, uh, to the mystery. You see, all these, all these screensavers seem to have sound, just like, imagine if your computer was like on at night. Yeah, I don't know. So this would be, I mean, this would be kind of annoying, but I guess you could turn that off. But yeah, it just, you know, it looks pretty cool. It does what a screensaver is supposed to do. It's, you know, saves your screen from, uh, you know, screen burning by having all these moving uh, images on it. And it does look pretty cool, and it actually runs, like, everything fits on the screen at this super high resolution. And, of course, I'm speaking in 1995 terms. Um, it can change... Uh, the nature, we can, we can change over to the nature theme here, and uh, I guess I moved my mouse there, and this just shows uh, like a bunch of leaves here, you know, going on the screen, uh, and it just, we got like some bugs, some like, whatever those are, going on the screen, and I'm sure if you leave this on, it would get like, you know, much, like, like much more things would get on the screen, but yeah, that's basically uh, the nature theme, we can go over to the science, screensaver which and again I think I moved my mouse too fast it's, it's very sensitive uh, this effect runs very fast in this virtual machine as you can probably tell but it's supposed to be this uh, little like uh, sort of like uh, magnifying ball looking thing kind of going around and sort of magnifying parts of the screen but it's going super fast I wonder if we can change the speed of that uh, here we go, we'll change the speed to 1 here. I want to change it to 1. But, okay, I guess numlock doesn't work right now. Alright. And, uh, yeah, let's just let's do that. We'll, and you can also change uh, the type of lens. You can see, like, how it's kind of working here. This is how it's supposed to work. I wonder if we can, if I preview. Okay, there it is a little bit slower, but it, I mean, if you had, like, an actual computer from this time, with like uh, you know a much you know slower processor, you would see the effect as it's supposed to be seen. That's another problem with running these uh, programs on modern machines is because sometimes these effects don't really work out as they're supposed to. Um, you can change over uh, to the sports theme or to the sports you know screen saver. That's what I meant to say. It looks like we're drawing like we're on the sidewalk here, I guess, and like a blacktop something. Click. Yeah, that's the sport. Let's see if we can change. No, we can't change anything. It's just, you know, yeah, that's, uh, that is sports. Let's go to the 60s USA, which is just super high again. It's like the science theme. We'll change the speed down to one. And, uh, it does a pretty similar effect to the science theme. It looks pretty cool. It kind of, you know, whirls part to the screen uh, like that. It looks, you know, pretty, pretty cool. And change, let's change it to the golden era. Which is just, I, I guess, like an old timer screensaver because it's showing like, it's like a super vintage telephone there with some dude sitting next to like a grandfather clock or something. I don't know. Yeah, this is... And it's just gonna like, you know, scroll across the screen like this. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's the golden era. Go to uh, travel here. Get in this, you know, nice blue sky. We got this... this little airplane here. Just going across...
And when it gets off the screen, it comes back on on the other side. It's just an airplane that takes super long to fly across the screen because, you know, it wasn't intended for use on a 1080p monitor like I've mentioned before. Uh, we can change. I think the Windows 95 theme. Yeah, I think this one came with with Windows 95 by default, but it's still pretty cool, as it takes an image from the desktop and you know kind of you know morphs it into this uh, cube looking thing. It's pretty cool. Again, it's supposed to run re like really slow, like it is in this you know like a uh, sort of mini monitor preview thing here. But again, since we're in a virtual machine, it runs a lot faster. That's basically the uh, themes screensavers. Now, again, going through all of these themes would probably take a, like way too long. Uh, I'll, I'll just apply, um, let's say, uh, m the uh, more Windows theme. I'll just you know change it to this, just to, you know kind of show you how you know this theme would look. Of course, I'm not. I mean, I'm just picking these themes at random. It would take way too long to actually demo all these themes. If you guys would like a separate video of me, you know, going through all of these themes like you know in like a much you know like in a bunch of detail I could do that as, as, as well but uh, yeah that that's basically the uh, visual enhancements portion of Microsoft plus with the themes uh, with uh, the themes screensavers and um, with those uh, visual effects that we saw earlier so now we're going to, to take a look at the uh, bundled pinball game that came included and to do that I think we're going to have to go into I think it's going to be under accessories maybe um, games maybe yes it's space cadet table and you can see it looks exactly the same this looks exactly the same as the version that was in Windows XP and if you ever you have used Windows XP you will probably remember this uh, 3D pinball version. I actually kind of forget how to play it. I haven't played it in a long time. Uh, I think you use uh, the shift keys to do the paddles. Maybe, maybe not. It's not working. See if we can change options here. Well, first of all, let's go full screen. Maybe not. It doesn't really work well. Um, okay. Well, here, here we go. This is this is kind of convenient. Here is uh, a scheduled program notification that is basically telling us that the disk defragmenter which was scheduled to run daily at 12 o'clock a.m. after you have not used your computer for 10 minutes did not start because your computer was turned off or in use okay so we can now, now this is of course part of uh, that system agent program now I'll go into more detail on that later but right now let's just focus on the 3d pinball for Windows and I want to figure out what the controls are so to do that your player controls all right, so left flipper is Z. So it's Z, okay, so yeah, it's Z and then backslash or forward slash. One of those, <laughs> I think it's a forward slash. Um, left table bump is X. Uh, all right, let's just let's just see. So, all right, even so, Z and Z and forward slash aren't even working. So let's just. Game. There we go. The sound is kind of messed up here. Let's change up. I'm just pressing keys now. I think you have to hold down the arrow key or something to make the to make the ball launch. Uh, let's change. Uh, oh, ps oh, space barge. That would be kind of useful. <laughs> To hold down the space bar, okay. Yeah, the sound is really messed up. And there we go. So, yeah, that's basically a pinball. It's the same version, and as far as I can tell, it's in Windows XP. I might be slightly modified. We'll just go about a 3D pinball. This. This 3D pinball table was created for Microsoft by Maxis. For more information, call 1-800-336-2947. U.S. and Canadian customers only. Copyright 1995 Maxis. All right, so now let's get over here to uh, this scheduled program notification. Now, this is part of the system agent program. 
So I think if we click on uh, the reschedule button, you can see here we bring up the system agent. So we'll just uh, do help about. We get Microsoft system agent, Windows 95. Microsoft Plus for Windows 95. If you've ever used scheduled tasks or task scheduler in Windows, I think it has two different names depending on what version of Windows that you're using. Um, this is pretty much the same thing. It's to uh, you know uh, schedule uh, system tasks to be performed uh, when you're not using uh, your computer. So so for example here, it has the disk defragmenter to be running on on every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at 12 o'clock a.m. And if we go over here, it says after you have not used your computer for 10 minutes. And if you use your computer for 10 minutes, it's obviously not going to run. But if you are using your computer, it's you know going to skip it, which is probably why it has you know more than one day, so that you can you know have like you know more than one chance to perform that task, because uh, defragmenting your disk is you know kind of important. Uh, we, we have the same thing uh, for uh, the low disk space notification, which will run hourly at 15 minutes after the hour. And uh, can just you know uh, go to pro properties here. You can type in uh, the uh, command line that it's you know uh, supposed to run. Change uh, the actual description of it. You can choose uh, what it needs to start in, and you can run in a uh, normal window, minimized or maximized. And we'll uh, close out of that. So let's actually uh, schedule a new program, and we'll say um, let's say uh, Notepad. Actually, let's let's not use Notepad. Let's use uh, the 3D Pinball program if I can find what actual you know program name it's called. So what we can do is I'm going to see program files. I think it's going to be under Plus Pinball, and it's going to be Pinball Turn so Properties. And if I want, I want to copy the entire path. Uh, all right, here actually pin MS DOS name Pinball.exe. So program pinball.exe uh, description we'll say pinball and we'll click when to run and we can change when it's supposed to run. We'll say um, uh, we'll say daily and we'll say start at uh, this VM time set to 8:20 p.m. We'll say 8:21 and we'll say okay. You want to postpone, click yes, click no to allow the program. Actually, yeah, see now it's already, yeah, see now it's like already 821, so I'm going to change that to 822, and now, and alright, so now it's daily at 822 p.m. So when uh, this VM's clock takes over at 822 p.m., we're going to see uh, the pinball program run with no user interaction at all. Alright, so it's 8.22 p.m. And that's basically what the system agent is, uh, you know, is supposed to do. You can, you know, change uh, what, you know, well, you can, you can basically add tasks uh, that you want to be run at certain times and you, you won't have to do anything, which is pretty convenient and this feature is still in Windows today if you're, you know, not familiar with it. Again, it's called uh, the Task Scheduler or uh, Scheduled Tasks, depending on what version of Windows that you're using. Uh, and you can, you know, pr I think do this same exact thing that I just did here uh, in a modern version of Windows uh, without having to like install, you know, any like uh, third-party programs. We'll just uh, disable Pinball for now, and let's see what else we got here. Alright guys, so that's basically a little demonstration of Windows 95 Plus. Of course, I didn't really go over everything because that would just take a little bit too long. Of course, I didn't uh, demonstrate all the themes either because that would also take, uh, you know, way too long. But if you guys want to see uh, a whole separate video uh, with the themes, you know, be sure uh, to let me know in the comments below. And if you want to see uh, more versions of uh, Microsoft Plus featured, on my YouTube channel. Also, be sure uh, to leave those uh, suggestions down below as well. Um, and, and as always, guys, if you uh, enjoyed uh, this video's content, be sure to like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.
and we'll see you guys in the next video.